Welcome back and welcome to Kate's Corner. It's time for another science experiment. Now last week we learned all about static electricity, but Halloween is also just around the corner, so we're going to combine both today for this experiment. What you need is a balloon, either coffee filter or a tissue, whatever you have around the house, some scissors, and a permanent marker. That's for the ghost face. What we're going to do, I use a coffee filter, so I just cut out the shape of a ghost in my coffee filter. Here it is, and I drew a little eye and mouth with it to make it look a little ghouly. All you have to do now is once again, take this against your hair, get that static electricity, move the electrons around, you can tell it's working, and now you're gonna make the ghost stand up. Now I taped my ghost down because it kept flying up, so you can do the same if that's an issue, but you have your balloon, And there's your ghost. So how did you get your little ghost to stand up and dance? Well, the answer, of course, lies in static electricity. When you rub your balloon against your head, you are transferring electrons, therefore making your balloon negatively charged. The positively charged ghost, therefore, is attracted to the balloon because opposites attract, and therefore it rose up and danced. You can find more on static electricity over on our website, WDTV.com, 